Hey everybody, it's Kyle here. Welcome back to another video. In this week's video, I want to talk about communication. And I want to talk about communication because it's hard. There's kind of no way around that. It's not necessarily easy. For some people it may be, but for me, it hasn't always been. And you may be like, well, you advocate, you have a radio show, you're on YouTube. It should be easy for you to communicate. And in some instances, it is. But when it's someone that I care about, and I have a problem or an issue that I think is going to cause problems, I'm not always the greatest. But I'm realizing as of late that my reasoning of, well, I'm sparing their feelings is not a strong argument at all because by sparing someone else's feelings, I'm hurting my own. And then what? Nobody knows that I'm hurting my own feelings because they don't know that there's a problem. So no one can help me. I'm left to figure it out on my own. I'm left to bury those thoughts and concerns when everyone else gets to move forward. And I don't. So that's no longer going to be the case. And it hasn't been for a little bit. But... <laughs> I can't say it's easy to do, but if you're someone who has been in my shoes and has things they want to tell somebody, but they're afraid of what their response is going to be, my response to you is find out. Find out what the response is going to be. And I'm not saying that the response is going to be the response that we hope that it's going to be, but at least by giving a response and telling whoever the person is, your feelings, you can work on fixing it. You know, your cards are on the table. Everyone is on the same playing field and you can do something about it. You can work at a solution. But by holding it in, a solution can't be found because no one else knows that there's a problem. You're left to internally struggle with, I wish I would have said this, or if I said this, this could have happened. So my advice to you and myself is to keep having those tough conversations, whether it be you're in a relationship and it's not working out, a friend is mistreating you, uh, you need an accommodation at school, you need help in school. Uh, another instance could be you're at your job and you need an accommodation for your boss. You know, your boss can't accommodate you if they don't know that there needs to be an accommodation. So make it easier on yourself by communicating your needs. And then everyone's happy. At least that's what you hope. But you won't know unless you try. And if you don't try, then you won't be happy. And your happiness matters too. My happiness matters. I mean, anyone who watches this, happiness matters. You know, we all want to be our best selves and you can't really be your best self when you're denying yourself the opportunity to speak your truth and your feelings. Your feelings are valid. And that's been kind of something I've been dealing with. My communication skills have gotten stronger over the years. You know, before I was afraid to talk about my disability and I wanted to make friends, but I didn't know how, so I wasn't the best at communicating. And then the right people came into my life, and I opened up my walls a little bit, and slowly it's gotten better and better, but still I realize that I'm not really always saying what needs to be said for my own mental health and sanity. Recently, I just had a conversation with a friend who I've known for over a year, and we're actually very close friends, and we video chat and everything, but their personality is strong. You know, they are vibrant and passionate, and I was intimidated. You know, they intimidated me this entire year, not on purpose, and they didn't even know, because they weren't, they weren't trying to be rude, but that's just who they are. They are vibrant and very passionate and to the forefront. Me, I haven't always been that way, and that's something you know, that falters at times. So eventually I called them 
You know, I had never called them. We'd video chatted, but I'd never called them over the phone. And I said, hey, you know, this is how I'm feeling, and I want to break this intimidation factor because we're good friends, and it doesn't need to be there. And the problem was, because it's someone that I care about on a personal level, that I would think about having that conversation and then get in my own head and be like, well, I'll call them tomorrow. I'll call them the next day. And then eventually, you know, that never did happen. <laughs> and then we ended up having a conversation for maybe 45 minutes. And it went a lot smoother than my brain thought it was going to go, you know. Your brain tends to come up with the, what if this happens? You know, this could happen, this could happen. There are a lot of what if scenarios when you speak your mind about how you're feeling. But in all reality, the actual way that it's going to happen is sometimes, most of the time, 10 times better than you think it's going to go. And after I had a, this conversation, you know, my chest was lighter, my shoulders were lighter, I just felt better. You know, we had reached an understanding that they didn't even know was a problem. And that was my fault because I didn't communicate what I needed to. And now, you know, I feel like I have some power back, you know, power that I was denying myself, power to realize that my voice does matter to even to the people I care about. It's easy for me to talk about advocacy and disability, you know, because, you know, it's my life and you think that would be hard, but sometimes dealing with the people that are in your life that are the closest to you can be the hardest thing because you don't want to hurt feelings. But again, by saying, I don't want to hurt their feelings, you're hurting your own and your feelings matter too. So just remember, and if they really do care about you, they will work with you to figure out a solution to the problem. Yes, they're going to be the people that freak out. They're going to the people that get they're going to be the people that get mad, but that's okay. They're going to get mad, and if they really mean something to you and you mean something to them, you will come to an understanding. I don't know what that will be for you, and sometimes it's not what you expect it's going to be, but you can reach an understanding, and then, you know, your relationship is stronger, you feel better, or at least that's the hope. Because by speaking your truth, by releasing it, you can move past it and forward onto better things. Just remember, your voice is powerful. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you next week. Be sure to turn on the bell notifications. Subscribe, comment down below. Sorry for the shaky hand. <laughs> I will see you next time, everybody.